The Wyoming Game and Fish Department is wrapping up a three-year study in central Wyoming to determine if fishing pressure is having an effect on burbot populations in six lakes in the Wind River drainage of central Wyoming where those fish are native. Over the past three years, close to 1,500 burbot have been tagged with reward tags that pay anglers to return them. On this day, the study focused on Bull Lake on the Wind River Reservation. Game and Fish Lander Fisheries biologist Paul Garrity says the project is a cooperative effort between the Game and Fish, the Shoshone and Arapaho tribes, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Montana State University. In each lake, we're doing something called a mark recapture study. So we'll go to each lake twice during the fall. The first time we net the lake, uh, all the burbot that we consider to be harvestable size, which is about 390 millimeters, will receive a tag. And uh, all the tagged burbot will be released alive. And then we come back a few weeks later, we net the lake again. And basically the number of new fish that we capture versus the number of uh, old fish that we capture with tags in them, that'll tell us, give us a good estimate of the actual number of fish in the lake. The reward tags help assess fishing mortality. The tags are either for 10 or $100. From the percentage of tags returned, researchers can tell which of the six lakes is getting the most fishing pressure. Now, burbot receive a lot of press, some of it negative, mostly due to an illegal introduction of the species in segments of the Green River drainage, which now requires all burbot caught west of the Continental Divide to be killed immediately. East of the Continental Divide, burbot are native to the Wind River drainage and considered a species of special concern. We, we want to sustain these burbot fisheries into the future, and so there, there's fish for future generations to catch. And so we're just uh, making sure that we're not over-harvesting these populations. Uh, they're a species of special concern, and we want them here, and uh, we're going to try and do everything we can to conserve them here. Burbot are a fantastic eating fish, often called the poor man's lobster. Ice fishing season is when most anglers go after them, so angling pressure is expected to increase. So when returning tags, go online and follow the instructions on the return envelopes. You can find those at boat ramps. Or return the tags to the Game and Fish, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service office in Lander, or the Tribal Fish and Game office in Fort Washakie. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.